everybody welcome back to a sweet journey i am sonia also known as sweets and today i want to talk a little bit about purpose as i consider my journeys the different journeys that i'm on one of the biggest parts of my journey is directly connected to purpose like truly honestly the reason that i'm here and I've been reflecting quite a bit. I am observing Lent in a way. I say in a way in that I, I don't typically observe Lent. My church decided to this year, which was really interesting. And I've chosen to follow. One thing that I love is that I haven't done as well with the eating portion the discipline in that space, but I have done really well in seeking God. And at the end of the day, I think that's that's what it's about. And so in my reflections, one thing that became very clear to me is that I have a really cool relationship with Jesus and that I experience and I'm very grateful for the work that he has done for me. I have an honor and a respect for God, my father, and I regard him as such. I am coming to realize that I have an interesting dynamic with the Holy Spirit. And I wanna talk a little bit about it today. I think sometimes I call him in from the outside, but not in from the inside. And I, I'm exploring that quite a bit. You may notice that I am talking a little bit more calculated today, and it is because I, I experience myself saying um quite a bit when I'm going through my videos. I've decided not to edit them out but just to slow down a little bit and to be a little more methodical in my communication. So just so you know, I am not a robot. I am not AI, it's me. Hopefully that helps. Anyway, <laughs> so I had a cool experience today. It started yesterday. I We were going to go to church. My Godsons wanted to see us and we decided we would go to church today. Their mom called last night and said she was not feeling well and, and she wouldn't be able to go. And we were like, okay, that's fine. And I really wanted to go to church, but I had decided in that moment that I just wasn't going to go. I have a lot of things to do on Sunday. I just won't go. I'll watch it on uh, YouTube, which is what I do when I don't attend. And this morning I got a call and I was like, hi, hey. And it was my godson who's five. And he said, it's me. And I won't say his name just to protect. And I said, oh, hi. He said, what time is church? I was like, oof, a little abrupt, but okay. I said, 10 o'clock. And he said, I don't know if you heard me, but I want to go to church. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I hear you, but your mommy's not feeling well. And then I heard his mom in the background saying, I'll get up, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get ready to come. This is abnormal, we will make it happen. And so we went to service this morning and my godson was jumping around and dancing. The two of us were dancing in the uh, in the narthex in the kind of area and we're jamming out and I, he's just so excited and for the first time he decides he wants to go into the children's church area which was a little alarming because he has he has a big personality and a very strong vocabulary and we were a little bit concerned because <laughs> he's not a church kid okay uh, but he was really excited. And so I, his excitement got me really excited. 
and he was dancing around he was like mom's gonna give me some new nikes and i was like oh great okay that's really good i was like all right well you have a good time and i go into service and worship is beautiful and i am in this quiet sweet space with god and then one of my favorite teachers gets up to teach which is always incredible and she says she's teaching from Luke 3 21 and 22 and it's when Jesus is being baptized and hears the voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased and immediately he is led into the wilderness and to be tempted of the devil he's been led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil and this entire situation for me is emotionally charged because one i am rekindling this relationship that i've had for many years with the holy spirit but this message is gripping me so powerfully and right when I am holding on and I feel like like I want to cry, but I'm like, it's going to be the ugly cry. I'm going to come unglued. Uh, she says, what has God said to and about you? And I lost it because I have, I'm very clear about what God has said about me and his intentions for my life. The purpose of my life. I'm really very clear about that. And I just feel today is a really sweet, sweet, sweet spot just to be reminded that life is not just life. It is life when it's lived on purpose. Everything else fades, but that that is the most important to me, the most important part of life is that we tap into the thing that we're supposed to do. And so I look up right when she says this and I notice the background. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. It's this little pair of feet with Nikes. I'm reminded that my godson I was so excited about his mom getting him some Nikes. And when service was over, we went and picked him up nervously, still. <laughs> it's a spiritual moment, but still, he is who he is. We are who we are. And we pick him up, and he looks at me, and he says, T.T. Sweets, Jesus died. I was like, tell me more. Tell me all about it. And he we went out and he had this little, uh, it looked like jelly beans. And it was, he was to color each of the jelly beans different colors. And each of the colors represented something. And he reads really, really well. And so he read the entire page to me. And I'll, I'll share that with you. The Jelly Bean Story. Green. God made the whole earth and all the green grass and trees. He made you and me. He made us to be in his family, but we got lost. Sin took us away from God. Pink. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to us to rescue us. Red. Jesus laid his life down for us so we could be found. He died on the cross for us. Orange. When Jesus died, he was put in a cave. Three days later, when the sky was orange, with the sunrise, Jesus came back to life. Purple. Jesus is the true king. Purple is for royalty and power. Jesus wants us to follow him as king of our hearts. Yellow. When we follow Jesus as king, we shine our lights for others to find Jesus too. And so the beautiful thing about purpose is that purpose is not purpose because we find out what it is we're intended to do. Purpose is purpose when 
our lives kind of are liquidated and then we're able to impact somebody else. That's what my, that's what my godson did today at five. He got us all to church. He <laughs> taught a beautiful lesson about the cross and the resurrection of Jesus. And he entered the house of the Lord with this beautiful spirit. And I believe that's just a lesson. It's a beautiful lesson that we can all learn today. And there's a lot of information in here and hopefully something that I said resonates with you. But at the end of the day, the question that was asked, what has he said to you? What has he said about you? That matters a great deal that you know. And I, and she went into this really sweet, like, what do you need him to say to you? Do you need him to remind you that you're loved? Do you need him to remind you that you are the apple of his eye? What, what do you need to hear him say about you today? And hopefully you are inspired in some way that you feel the sweet, sweet, sweet energy of a little five-year-old who has really, really blessed my whole heart today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for hanging out today and talking a little bit about purpose. I'd love for you to share if there's something that did stand out to you. I, I would love to read it. And... I will see you next week.